My name is Ryan Moon. I have a background in technical fraud at large banks. Thanks everybody for coming. I think to set the tone for what we're looking for going forward, I mean, onto the prompt. Here we go. Let me share my screen. Uh, so yeah, the, the basis of this prompt is around for, you know, two decades I've worked in fraud. We've observed a lot of what we used to call miscreant jargon or the miscreant dictionary. They get obsessed with words like firstly, for talking about furniture, bad spelling, weird grammar, reverse adjectives. They say things like red car, car red instead of red car. The bad spelling is going to go away as more and more of them use LLM, just the same as we're using LLM. We're in a cat and also cat type deal. Um, but that's the basis of where this prompt is coming from. I don't know if the prompt is very visible. My screen is black on white, but it should be. Um, but the, the essence of it is let's utilize the thing that the LLM is good at. Give me a yes or no answer to the following question. Does the following apply to the labels below or the labels apply to the following below? Is this look urgent? Does it look like it's related to financial? Does it look like it's short? Does it look like it's a broken English? That's the last thing I'll read off the screen. You guys can read. Um, the idea here is we want to make sure that we are buttressing traditional profiles. Uh, those of you who know me know that I'm, I've written an unending number of 60 word peakeries that look for things that are miscreant dictionary. Like I've written a lot of snort, a lot of Yara, a lot of peakery. These tools are extremely poor at detecting social engineering based attacks, especially if they don't include attachments or links. Um, and a lot of what we're going for today is, is attacking that. We're attacking it in a style where we want to use as few tokens as possible. Um, unlike other people who are talking today, I, I have a cost to my tokens. I'm very aware of that cost. So if I can accomplish what I want to accomplish in 10 tokens or less, which this does, that's great. I can run it on very cheap hardware that pumps out thousands of tokens a second. And it's great for the volume that I'm currently dealing with. In addition to that, we can use, we can manipulate things like top P sampling or low temperature, you know, move the temperature down as opposed to up because repetition in this case is good. Again, we're leveraging the thing that LLMs are good at. So in this case, we look at the email prompt that comes in. Everybody on this call and everybody watching is probably familiar with it, which is like, hey, give me all your bank credentials, right? Um, and there's a lot of different ways we could attack this in the past, which would include things like, hey, here's the URL. Let's see if this is a fake URL, do a bunch of enrichment on it. But using the LLM model and this prompt that we're using, we just get an answer. Yes, this is related. It's urgent and financial. I can surface this with very minimal extra enrichment towards my frontline tank crew that they can take a gander at and go, oh yeah, that's somebody being attacked. Let's work through the playbook, do whatever it is we have to do on a regular basis. The LLM is very good at language connotation and relationships between words. This is a situation where the innate inaccuracy that LLMs are known for is actually a benefit, not a deficit. Um, the prompt here that we're looking at basically focuses on fake bank updates, fake bank prompts. Also, it, it solves the go buy the boss stuff variants, uh, which we'll go over in a second. And of course, we add broken English um, because this is really where the LLM is a superstar. It saves me from having to continually update lib elements of style or lib proper English or whatever it is we're working on today. Uh, if we go through the next one, we can see a negative very quickly. This is just, you know, someone reaching out for a contact. They may be annoying and I don't necessarily want to talk to Arvin, but um, this is not this is not something that LLM thinks is a threat or needs to be surfaced. Same thing with the next one. Uh, this is just a random person attempting to get my business and I don't want to do business with them, but it's also not an attack. And then at the start of this, there's the thing that probably every single person on this call thought of, which is, hey, I'm the boss. Go get me five iTunes gift cards so that I can buy a Ferrari after I'm out of this meeting. Um, and it, it does surface that very quickly. When you run this, this is a model that you can run again on off the shelf hardware. You don't need to necessarily pay for an Azure GPT instance or anything like that. There are a lot more versions of this. Um, you know, once you start to think of these as a collection of ideas that form a scam or form a type of email you want to look at, you can think of like a lottery scam. That's just prize plus tax plus urgent. Uh, the relative scams where they're dealing with grandmas or things like that. That's just family relationship plus holiday or birthday plus presents or gift cards uh, or the survey scams where it's survey plus shipping fee or tax plus urgent. Um, and so you can do a lot of a lot of combinations of these. Um, and that's it. That's my first prompt being shared with you. all I appreciate that. Uh, no, I, I use perplexity because I because running it on my laptop is slow. I think it's like I think even on my server here, which doesn't have a GPU in it for it, it's like 10 tokens per second. Right. So that's not really what we're talking about. I'm talking about I think it, I think corporate wise, we corporate wide, we average about 10,038 or so uh, messages per second. And so we need to keep track at that speed. Um, but I'm not dealing with like if you work at Gmail, you're like, ha ha ha, we did this 12 years ago. Um, you know, but working at a bank or dealing with customers that are banks, that's really, really what I'm talking about. I do think we need to start a GitHub for sharing this, by the way, where you just link to other people's GitHub so that if someone can just click and see the prompt without having to email me or check Twitter.